can't have the front with the back and deals. Beats and more so planets out beyond the eight planets that you already know. There are many more solar systems to explore, and we should go. Different stars that have their own planets and their own solar systems. Would you like to go with the bee and see if we could beat some? The closest star to your sun is Proxima Centauri. And the next planet that orbits its named Proxima Centauri C. In a triple star system with stars Alpha Centauri A and B. I'm in the habit of sound, which means there could be a life on the B. I'm called Seven the B. Or the fiery ocean planet. Because my surface melted away and only my core is left. I'm about half the size of a Neptune, but puts much smaller. My orbit takes only about a few days because I'm very close to my star. Let's go meet an exoplanet. They orbit other stars. Some are very similar, some very different from ours. Strange and mystical worlds with wonders beyond imagination. Let's go find some exoplanets and see if we can meet them. Couple of 37B, a super Mercury. That is because I am very small compared to the other planets. In fact, I'm the smallest being the game to wrestle the planet I'd be. And I'm the smallest, the other. I could feel inside the biggest planet. Okay. Um, I I am a couple of 144B. I am actually unique in my own way. I am about 11 billion years old, and I orbit one star. I orbit one of the three stars in the triple star system. The distant binary concludes to a red dwarf, you see. I'm the exoplanet J1407B, also known as Super Saturn, but Saturn's got nothing on me. I have one of the loads in the ring that it's filled with the galaxy. About 200 times as large as Saturn's, I'm the new lord of the rings. Let's go meet an exoplanet, they orbit other stars. Some are very similar, some very different from ours. Strange and mystical worlds with wonders beyond imagination. Let's go find some exoplanets and see if we can meet them and exotic exoplanets. I'm Hatsby 7 the B. I have very different weather from yours, especially when it rains on me. Instead of raindrops, you will see showers of sapphires and rubies. I have clouds of cold that could make those dual scientists believe. I'm exoplanet Goldies 436B and I'm a very strange sight to see. I will be very close to my star that my ice is constantly on fire. That's because I'm so close to my star. It takes just a few days to orbit. And I'm also the fiery ice planet because I have it. Let's go meet an exoplanet. They orbit other stars. 
Some are very similar, some very different from us. Strange and mystical worlds with wonders beyond imagination. Let's go find some Buxo planets and see if we could meet them. I'm TOI 700D and I'm an exciting discovery! I am in the habitable zone of my star, which means there could be life on me. I'm a little bit bigger than the Earth, and we could be very similar, they say. I could have oceans and lands and friends for you to meet someday. When my star expanded to a red giant, it almost vaporized me. A sub dwarf star, now I'm much closer to my star than the other planets would dare to be. I'm super fast, though less than six hour orbits. I'm so close that it's fun. Hotter than hot, I'm a couple of seven to be, and I'm probably hotter than your sun. My name is Travis the Sun. And I have seven planets of my own, all unique and special, including three in the habitable zone. The current names are Trappist, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Together we have one of the most exciting solar systems discovered to this day. Now you've met some exoplanets, they orbit other stars. In the very own solar systems far outside of us. Strange, mystical cold world with wonders beyond imagination. Keep looking at the stars and maybe you'll discover one.